these freaking hills over here. Well, what are we going to do about that? Nothing. We're just going to hold W and keep right on going. Maybe not W. Maybe we're going to hold that one. You see that? How beautiful that was? Hey, y'all. Welcome to the overview of my starting rover, the Exodus. Don't mind the photo booth over there. That's cool, though. Anyway, back to this puppy. A very basic rover. It is set up so it's very ATV ready. It handles terrain pretty well for a no modded vehicle or any kind of like special shenanigans set up on suspension. We will get to those though. Do not worry. Crazy rovers are coming very soon. Now we do have, like I said, very basic stuff. We have two cameras up front, a couple spotlights for viewing. These are set up so that you can have like a uh, first person playthrough or a, you know, a you know, well, yeah, a, a first person only playthrough. Now we have the cameras, multiple angles in front because we don't have a cockpit in front. We have our cockpit off to the side and it is armored, y'all. Listen to me, fam. Destroyed cockpits ruin rovers. Remember that. So the cryopod is set up on the front of the rig and it's mostly there for aesthetics, but it's also there for the folks who like to use the uh, sleep the night away mod or whatever it's called. You know, you hop in here, poof, it's daylight again. It's a fantastic mod. I use it sometimes. Probably going to use it in my next playthrough. We have a survival kit, an O2, and a hydrogen generator built into this puppy. Many, many batteries. And a single hydrogen engine for backup emergency power. We have a single solar panel up here. This will charge your batteries. Takes good, uh, takes a good bit amount of time. So be mindful of that. It's generally used for uh some of the scripts which they're amazing mm, that hum of that engine fam listen to it it is amazing we have several scripts on this including a lot of easy scripts which I, I love that man he is he's got a beautiful mind anyway we have his refuel his inventory manager we have lcd scripts on here we have them ever most importantly and listen to me listen to me fam when i tell you this das you have a rover you put das on it and the rover loves you that's just that's just a simple fact of everything of life of rover life jumping into this bad boy we have a plethora of information mostly here is your instructions on how to operate the rig we have power cargo we also have this cool fancy display down here which is another beautiful mod we also have our baron our planetary baron in case you don't play with a little hud compass up top you'll be able to know if you're going north south east west etc etc we have our three hydrogen tanks on display at the bottom right. We have our single oxygen tank and our single hydrogen engine. Now say you got the baddies coming after you and they want to clean out that booty pipe. Well, <laughs> you, do, you can't really go left and right. Now the only option you have is these freaking hills over here. Well, what are we going to do about that? Nothing. We're just going to hold W and keep right on going. Maybe not W. Maybe we're going to hold that one. You see that? How beautiful that was? We're backing up though, because the baddies are still after us. Sliding everywhere on the ice, probably going to take some damage right there because we had to stop. But, as you can see, we're still 100% go. Everything is fantastic. We did that jump with no issues whatsoever. I'm very proud of this one, fam. I think I've come up with the answer to a lot of issues when it comes to surviving in a very hostile environment. And here it is, the Exodus. This will get you going when nothing else will. So, as I said before, if you like the vehicle, hit that thumbs up button for me. Helps me, helps you in some way, helps the channel grow. And as always, my friends, when in doubt, Bobar out.